Pre-game lay line from Adam. And um, just resetting the overlays here. This is the first match of top eight, which will be indicated under my little box at the top right of your screen. So Goblin Walder's on the board for Matthew. And now Shadow Spear on the board for Adam. 18, Fable. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. We were just talking about this card a lot during the previous match we watched on today's stream. Goblin Walder attacking. Beseech the Mirror has been a nice addition to these Helm decks. All right, here's Dothy Voidwalker. Um, Goblin Walder won't be up to that many shenanigans in this game. It, that seems clear at this point. But Beseech the Mirror is able to uh, tutor for Helm of Obedience. Okay, discarding Agatha something. I forgot. What, what, what's that card called? And a goblin engineer to draw two. I assume you're choosing Leon and the Void and not Dusty Void Walker. For your, for your Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll turn sideways for this. I'll just. Uh, move. Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Thank you. That's the card that was just discarded. There's too many cards, Chad. I can't memorize them all. Chaos <laughs> um, Ooh, Chaos Defiler just getting hard cast here after making a treasure. Chooses Ley Line. So if Dothy Voidwalker can be removed. This Goblin Welder plus Chaos Defiler situation could get ugly. Uh, or Zasaga comes in. <laughs> Great point. Uh, two turns from now, Reflections of Kiki Jiki could copy Chaos Defiler and remove this Void Walker. So attacking for four with a lifelink shadow creature. Fable of the Mirror Breaker will now flip over into Reflections of Kiki Jiki. There is Urza Saga now on Matthew's side. Swing, four, seven, eight. Trigger, treasure token. Yep. Swing for eight, make a treasure. This is a game. These two artifact decks are uh, swinging for the fences against each other so far as far as this game has gone. I mean, right now, though, I think the advantage bar is over to Matthew's side a bit. No, um, okay, swinging with the Dothy Voidwalker. No mana yet for Helm of Obedience. <laughs> yeah, without an answer to Defiler and Kiki this turn, it's looking bad for Helm, I agree. Okay, plays in Urza Saga. Judge! Alright, so a judge call happening here. What's the play pattern for the Helm deck? So with Leyline of the Void, 
or Dorothy Voidwalker. Let's hear this judge question. Yeah, Kijiki. So I know the ATB is going to happen, but when I sacrifice it at the end of the turn, does it also get the death trigger because the token will temporarily be in the yard? Because of what? Because the token's going to die if you're sacrificing it, so would I get the death trigger as well? Mm. Yeah. Okay. As long as there's not an effect like this. Yeah. Got it. Just wanted to double check. All right. I'm going to copy Chaos Defiler. Sure. I'm going to use this as the copy. Yeah. Okay. So Chaos Defiler gets copied here. That'll blow up Dothy Voidwalker. Is that part of it? Going to move to combat. Yep. Going to swing for 10, 12, uh, trigger. Swing for 12, make a treasure. Yeah, the uh, question to the judge was not really like i'm not even clear if the judge saw there was a void walker on the board the question was kind of incompletely asked and incompletely answered given the situation but we knew that uh matthew was going to blow up the void walker so um we're gonna see this chaos defiler blow up shadow spear and end step construct gets created And now, in response to the creation of a construct on Adam's side, we're seeing a fetch for some reason. That's, that's what I mean. That's why I was like, like construct's a 2 2, correct? It is a 2 2. Uh, I'm going to flash into Bowmasters. Sure. Uh, deal one. Flash into Bowmasters. No, deal one. <laughs> Double Bowmaster the token. Oh my goodness. That's just mean. I have one, two, three, four. No. I'm dead. He's saying this is a lot heavier Yeah, I'm dead is right. Matthew takes game one. That was that was a stomping right there. Oh. Cast a filer showing off in that game. Uh we were just talking about Chaos Defiler, coincidentally. That card is messed up. One card on the bottom for Adam. Yeah. Yep. Pre-game lay line. I'll take three to play this untapped. Yeah. I could him untapped. Thoughtsies to start. Double Arid Mesa, Grindstone, Bolt. Double Painter and Fury. Okay. Maybe Grindstone gets taken here. Move to combat. Beginning of combat. Has to be Grindstone, right? I'll take the seat. Yeah. All right, Grindstone is taken as expected. Placed in exile. So now, considering. Uh, okay, just fetching our Badlands and pass. Okay. Uh, considering that the grindstone combo is shut off right now, we'll see if Adam assembles their own co game winning combo here to mill the opponent using Leyline plus Helm. Ritual. Dark Ritual. It's getting scary. Him to Turok. One more thing. Is Cast a Filer the difference between Rakdos and Red Painter? It it's a it's a big card that they added to the deck, but they also run Bowmasters now Spell Bomb yeah. Um, 
All right, so Painter Servant has named Blue. Goblin Welder now on the board. We could see a Power Blast or Red Blast blow up Ley Line at some point. Might have been better for Matthew to just leave Red Mana open just in case. That Aaron Mesa should be an exile. Even if they don't have the Red Blast or Power Blast, it'll just prevent Adam from trying to uh, Dark Ritual, Beseech, or something like that. Or at least make him think twice about it. I don't know. I don't know if it was worth it to cast Welder there. Is not the Void Walker? Okay, so that'll be another thing that Matthew has to deal with. Bolt the Void Walker. Oh, right, we have a Bolt. All right, so uh, Bolt removes Void Walker. Ancient Tomb. Yep. Move to combat. You're also just fake if you want. You're not using that. Pass two. Okay. All right, we're at the first. Take two. All right, here's Shildred. Bowmaster's uh, nope. number one. End step Bowmaster. Ping here for one. Hmm, Shildred was a was a big play. Matthew was hellbent. Oh, still name blue. Uh, past you. Gain two. Was there a missed trigger on the draw there? Wow. I didn't even notice. Okay, some people are saying no, Miss Trigger. I don't know. Hmm. One card in Matthew's hand. This is close. It's really hard to tell who's going to win this at this point, if I were to make a prediction. Not knowing the outcome. Double bowmaster now. I think we're gonna start. Yeah, let's let's start let's start swinging away. Uh, the threat of lightning bolts is real too. Blocks the bowmaster, uh, rather the orc army. Takes four. Left back goblin welder that time. So protecting Welder, I guess, even though double void on the battlefield. Well, this is this is close. Shouldered has to stay back to block, right? Can't attack here. Can can Adam afford to attack? Maybe if maybe if Adam has a Bowmaster, they can afford to attack. Don't the Voidwalker as a creature on the board wouldn't do a lot. It can't block. Adam's at six. And step bowmaster. Oh, <laughs> this is close. Three bowmasters on the board. I dared Adam to try to draw an extra card. Grindstone off the top. That gets a yup. Swing with. Everything. <coughs> okay, this time attacking with Welder. Okay, so Bone Master. Two. Grindstone targeting you. Go ahead. Dead. Wow, Grindstone activated in response to the Bone Master, and that ends the match. Nicely played. Matthew gets it.